Hello, my name is Kat and welcome to my video. Uh, today I'm going to do a Killstar haul. I have had this stuff sitting here for a while so that I had a chance to film it or haul it or whatever. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. It's been sitting here a while. I have worn some of the stuff because, like I said, I had it a while and I mean, how could I resist not wearing the stuff before filming it? So. Um, the whole reason I placed this big ol' haul was I need a new backpack, or bag, I prefer to use backpacks as bags, and I had seen a YouTuber named Jade the Libra haul this bag, and I went nuts for it, I had to buy it right away, and I thought, well why just buy one thing, when there's so much more stuff to get on there. I don't shop on Killstar a lot, because obviously... As we all know, it is really expensive. So, I try to limit myself. I usually only do it around like Black Friday and around my birthday. So that's about twice a year that I'll purchase stuff from Killstar just to kind of limit myself. And this was around my birthday, so I was allowed to do it. No excuses were to be made by me. I needed the stuff. So the bag that I wanted that I saw her haul was this bad boy right here. I love this bag. It is so cute. It's like a faux leather kind of material with the big old star here and it zips all the way down. And then there is these change, uh, chains which are removable if I wanted to remove them, but why would I want to do that? Uh, just kidding. Sometimes they do get noisy, but I'm not going to remove them because that's what makes the bag so freaking cute is these freaking chains. Um, pockets are everywhere on this bag here. Uh, I have noticed by wearing this bag that it is, a, like, the chains are heavy. It's like, they're heavy duty. They're good quality chains. So they do pull the zippers down. Um, nothing's fallen out. I haven't lost anything, but... I haven't really kept too much in there. Uh, there is also on the back another little compartment in there. That's usually where I keep like my cards and my chapstick. Easy to get to stuff. Because in here, this goes so deep in here. I can lose stuff in here. I It's insane. I didn't know I had like three pairs of glasses in here. And you wouldn't think that all that could fit in here. But it can. And I love this bag. And it stays so flat, like no matter how much I have in here, I could literally put like, like a full bag of chips in here and it's still going to stay flat. And I've done it. Trust me. I've done it. Uh, this actually unhit, unhooks too and clasps up here. That's what this little ring's for. I don't know why. I don't like how it looks um, when it's like that. So I leave it how it's meant to be. I don't, I don't really know what the purpose of having it hook up like that. It would just makes it harder to get into. Why would I want that? I don't, I don't want that. Um, so I'm just going to grab whatever's next here. That was just on top because that's my current everyday bag. Um, let's see. I also got a bathing suit because I was going to Vegas for my birthday and I needed a bathing suit for the pool parties. So I have already worn this bathing suit. Um, Super duper strappy up top. I did take the padding out. It did come with the little um, inserts, whatever padding bathing suits normally come with. Um, but I took it out because it was removable. And I don't really like those. And I don't really need those. Who cares if you see a little nip? Nip's cute, right? Free the nip or whatever. Uh, so that's that. It. Uh, oh, the bottoms. Hello. Hello. These are the bottoms. They're high-waisted. I do like the bottoms. Um, my only issue is, is I have a huge butt and not very huge tits. So, unfortunately, I have to order things usually bigger. And so, these fit fine. I got them in an extra large. They fit just fine. But the top is much too big. I was risking a nip slip every second that I wore this top because my boobs just don't fill it out and 
hold it upright, I guess. Um, so this did look a little weird on me, like it wasn't tight to my body how I would like it. And uh, yes, if you're wondering, it did cause weird tan lines. I don't tan much, as you can tell, I'm pretty pale. But the little tiny bit of shadow tan that I got was uh, weird looking, but nobody could tell. Nobody said anything, to my face at least. Um, I would have sized down in that. I think I could have done a large. I think the bottoms would have been fine, and then the top would have fit better. But you live and you learn. And uh, if I order it again, now I know. The next thing I ordered, I had actually intended to wear to Disneyland. Um, and I got them in the mail about a week before I was going. So it was a, a little unfortunate, but it is these overalls. Let me hold them up for you here. And uh, they've got a gorgeous freaking design all over them. It is also on the butt pocket right there and there. It's got studding all around like the seams, I guess maybe we could call it. It's also on the front pockets and super freaking detailed or attention to detail, whatever is. There's little like crescent moons on, I don't know if you could, if it's picking up, but little crescent moons on the freaking buttons and it's adorable. But alas, as I mentioned before, that big old booty of mine did not fit in here. And uh, it was a tragedy. I was really sad about it. But wore something else. It's fine. I am probably going to exchange these because I love these and they did come in a larger size. And I, I love these and I want and I think I'm gonna get the biggest size that they have even though that might be too big because I don't know like a cute oversized pair of overall shorts sounds pretty cute so next up I did already wear this as well freaking love this shirt so uh, basically when I was on there buying the bag I went through all their sale stuff, and so most of the stuff I got here was actually on sale. I don't remember any of the prices, but I'm pretty sure most of it's still there, so you could go, if you like it, you could go see it on the website yourself. Um, and they usually do some kind of like 30% off sale, clearance, whatever, every once in a while, so you might get a little deal. Uh, so this shirt right here this pattern oh my goodness I freaking love this shirt so much I put it on and I fell in love it is so baggy uh it's got a little bit of open like back that's this is the back that's not my head hold that's the back um and then when I bought it I thought it was actually going to be long sleeve but it's just kind of kind of like a poncho like it looks like it's just basically cut from one fabric and then there's some holes put into it for your body to go. Um, and I freaking love it. I actually wore this at the Vegas pool party over my bathing suit as kind of like a little cover up since it was see through and flowy and like that chiffoning material that's nice and cool and light. And it is actually so long, covered every little bits of me. I think uh, it's more high-low, so the front cut off, like, my thigh, like, like mid to high thigh, and then the back was, like, low, like, but I'm short, so everything's low on me, uh, but it was probably, like, mm, halfway to my knee, the back of my knee. I loved it. So, next, I'm grabbing this little halter top um it is pretty see-through um I don't know if you can really tell at all maybe can you see me hello I can see you but can you see me I don't know I think this is gorgeous I have not worn it yet let me see it is called the burn baby lace up halter top um and it does lace up in the back so I can cinch it as tight as I need to for my lack of titas that I mentioned earlier. Uh, but it is so cute. I haven't worn it yet because I don't know 
when to wear or where to wear it yet. Um, and I live in San Francisco, so it is too freezing to just wear this out and about in the summer without having some sort of proper friggin' jacket on top. And it's like, I don't want to take away from the moment of this freaking shirt. Moving on. Let's get into the box here. Next, I have this dress. I'll, I'll do like a little slow pan up so you can see it all. This is the front. Are you seeing it? Because I'm not seeing what you're seeing. And uh, this is the back. I think this is the most comfortable dress I've ever put on in my entire life. Um, as you can see, it's got these little strappy do things on the top. And um, it, I'm pretty sure it's like Salem witch trial, trial propaganda kind of situation going on here. I love this dress. Uh, so comfy. I probably could have sized down, but I love it. Um, probably could wear it with a belt even because there's like that. I, I, I didn't even notice it when I bought it or tried it on. But there's like this like space of just black right there in the middle. My boyfriend thought it was kind of weird. I don't mind it. I I don't know. I'm obsessed with this dress. It is so comfy. I don't wear dresses a lot anymore. I used to because I, they were so comfy. I didn't have to put on jeans or pants or anything like that. Just threw on a dress and it was good to go. But I don't do that anymore. But this dress inspired me to want to do that more. Uh, I did wear this in Vegas to go see Chris Angel. Great show. Do recommend. But I love this dress. Moving on. Let's see here. Uh, something simple, basic. This little crop top. It just says uh, witchy and bitchy. I have this in a uh, pattern with just the, the Ouija print where it says uh, fucking fantastic, like mixed in with the letters or something like that. Whatever. Have that in a smaller size. So it's like extra crop, like, ooh, might show a little under boob if I lift my arms too high kind of a situation. But this one, I did get oversized to make sure that it was long enough to be able to wear casually. And I love it. It's simple. It's cute. It's just black and white. Goes with my color palette. I got whatever you want to call it, my wardrobe palette. Obviously, it's black and white. Who doesn't have a wardrobe that goes with black and white? Who doesn't, who, who shops at Killstar that doesn't have a wardrobe that matches something that's black, majority black, and then some white. Moving on, the questions of the day are not going to be answered today. The next shirt I have here, let's see, it is, got the tag on it still, so it is called the Pentagram Ladies Sheer Shirt. Uh, it is a long sleeve. I work in an office, so I thought... This is appropriate, right? To work, right? It's fine. Uh, but it's got an all black little collar there. And then down the buttons are also black. And then on the sleeves, it's got a little black uh, cuff. And yeah, it's just some pentagrams and a little pattern. And it's really cute. I haven't worn it yet. We'll see what they say at work. I'm sure it's fine. Let's see, what am I grabbing here? What is this? What is this? What is this? It's tangled. Oh, this is a bodysuit. Again, I haven't worn this, so this is called the Morgana bodysuit. This looks so good on, honestly. If this was the right material, I would have worn this as the bathing suit instead of the other one. Um, let's see. Straps are confusing. Please don't mind me. Um, so here's the straps. They actually have words down them. It says, uh, let's see if you can see it. Let's see. Fuck what they think. There, you can read it, right? Is it backwards? I don't know. Um, but here's the bodysuit as much as I can show it to you. I don't know if you're picking up. It's kind of shiny where there's a design. Let me get that up and close and personal in your face. Um, but there's just all kinds of little different things on here. 
I haven't taken the time I haven't taken the time to look at what is all on here but there's like a shit ton of symbols and sigils and stuff I don't know I'm not taking the time to look at that right now and then uh, it's mesh right here down the cleavage area and also down the back is also mesh fishnet however you want to call it and for some reason it's also like around the hips the hip line um, like where your underwear would go I'm not sure I actually didn't even notice that when I bought it and I noticed it when I tried it on it looks good though it's interesting I wear a lot of high-waisted stuff especially when I wear bodysuits so I don't know if you'll be actually able to see that but I, maybe if I wear like a you know one of those like sheer skirt situations where you wear like bodysuit and then your skirt's like sheer black. I can't speak right now. That was too many S's in one sentence. Moving on, I think this is the last item in the box. Yes, yes it is. Um, sorry for the crinkly noise. So I actually got a second bag because I start school next like in like two weeks, three weeks from the time I'm filming this video. Who the heck knows when it's going to be uploaded. But I started school at the end of August. Makes it simple for uh, figuring out the time, I guess. End of August of this year. And I needed a school bag. So I didn't want to just get a plain backpack or anything like that. I didn't want to use like an old, well actually I don't even think I have an old bag that's big enough to fit like school books and my laptop and everything so I just took a little looky loo on Killstar when I was placing the order and I found this messenger bag to die for. It still has some of the plastic on the hardware and everything so don't mind that but let's see it's called the Ritual Ring Messenger Bag and it is this big old daddy right here. It's gonna fit everything. It is so cute. Like I said don't mind the plastic. There we go, and then it's got a little Killstar logo right up on there, studding all around these little strap things. Um, obviously the strap is uh, not all the way fully extended. Um, it's got a zipper on the back, a big old pouch there, and then open it up. Uh, so these buckles are a trick, they're fake, they don't actually do anything but there is snaps that they go to right there where there's another pocket and another pocket and another pocket and another pocket who would have guessed so many pockets just kidding and then inside it is huge throwing away the silico packets yes it is huge and uh guess what What's this? Could you have guessed? Oh yeah, another pocket. So, oh my god, there's more pockets. I wasn't even going to make a joke about this one. There's more pockets I didn't even know about. They're, they're in there. There's so much to this freaking bag. It's going to fit everything for school. It's going to fit the laptop just fine. It's going to fit my binder and my textbooks. And it's going to do its freaking job of being a school bag while also being a badass school bag so that's it that is my haul um happy birthday to myself I guess treated myself I think everything came out to uh, I placed the bathing suit order separate from this stuff and the overalls as well so I'm gonna say let's round up it was Somewhere between four and five hundred dollars. I want to say low, closer to four hundred, lower four hundred. Um, but I got a lot, and it is Killstar. It is super pricey, but I got a lot for that amount. And Killstar does this super duper cool, but dangerous thing called Afterpay. If you have not heard of this, you're gonna be mind blown. But apparently no strings attached you can do this thing called afterpay where it basically takes your total 
I think you have to spend at least over $30. So let's just pretend we spent $100. You take your $100 purchase and it splits it up into four payments that you pay every two weeks. You know what else happens every two weeks? You get paid every two weeks. Most people, if you get paid every week, whatever, you got paid every week. Most people get paid every two weeks that I know of and it splits it into two, every two weeks you pay a payment and there is no interest and no hidden fees so far and yeah so if you you bought a hundred dollars worth of stuff then every two weeks you'd pay twenty five dollars towards that stuff you'd already have your stuff it wouldn't be like on layaway like you wouldn't pay for it and then receive it like yeah get your stuff and then pay it off and it's crazy the only thing I did it with was the overalls everything else I paid for like right away because I didn't trust it I didn't know about it but then I was like let's give it a shot let's see what happens I read the stuff seemed all good to go and it's crazy the only time there would be a fee or a charge would be if you made a late payment but it sets it up for you to where it takes automatic payments every two weeks so you don't have to remember to log back in and make that payment but you can if you want to if you want to just go back in and pay it all off if you like get the money all of a sudden you can and then it's done and it's nuts I think I, I know other stores offer it too I, I want to say forever 21 I feel like maybe I seen that on there I don't know but Killstar does it that's amazing that's gonna cause some serious shopping damage and storage issues in my tiny little apartment but alas what can I do that is it for my haul. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe if you want to, like if you want to, comment if you want to. If you want to see me do like a little lookbook or anything with this stuff, please let me know. I really don't know what else to do with this channel. Somebody tell me something. Anything. I'll do it. I'll do what you say. Please. I'll do what you say. You don't have to do what I say. I'm not your mother. You don't have to leave me a comment, you don't have to like my video, and you don't have to subscribe. But please, tell me what to do, because I'm at your service. Thanks again for watching my haul, and I really hope to see you again. Goodbye.